Wow. This is attempt number six of recording this episode. It's going dreadfully thus far, and uh, I shall say hello, hello, ho, ho, and welcome back to Half-Life 2 episode 2 with yours truly, Lord Andrews in the real the mad. I love the pluses, harbinger of the spipening, whatever else titles I had. Something about Master Boss and get out of the way, car. We have a strider coming in from the crane. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. All. Now there's one at the sawmill. Quite frankly, I am terrible at this. I need to remove the hunters from the strider so I can kill the strider, but I keep missing the strider. Oh, so my, I'm using the wrong weapon. Let me switch. They're coming from everywhere. Strider spotted at the water tower. I'm going to quick save here this time, so that I do not need you to start the episode again. Yeah. Worked. Now, the other hunter. Bloody fuck, torched. Die, you shit. Come here, you. Come on. Come on, I've got you now. You cannot kill me. I am not dead. Okay, let's try this again. That did broke the door. I'm quite sure the car collided with the hunter. But absolutely nothing happened. And this time, nothing happened at the door because I couldn't even hit the bloody hunter. At all. At least that worked. Get over here, you piece of shit. Stop your dodging. Not the a hole. There we go. That's one down, and that's going to be absolutely useless because there's another strider going from over here already. But this strider does not have any hunters. Ah, my bomb. So I get one down. Excellent. Saved. Uh, let's go in this direction. Bomb, pick up the bomb, pick up the bomb, toss it, miss it, reload. It is fuck hell if I'm going to overcomplicate this. I'm already going too much trouble in here as, as it is. As I mentioned on the number of how many times I recorded this bloody episode. I still have two striders to kill. One more at the crane! They do not have a single bo- Free! Three times striders to kill. And they don't have any weapons. For fighting the striders. Oh, gods, gods be damned, gods be damned. I wonder if we could carry one like the gnome. Seems to work. No, it doesn't. Okay, so the water mill one should be the closest to the current location. Indeed, it should be right about here. No? Are they all going the same path? Because that's possible too. No, they're not. Okay. Get that. Toss it. Shoot it. If only it worked like that every time. Usually it's a lot more trouble because I keep missing. And the magnesons explode on contact with the crown. Ah. Hit the hunter. Or get stuck under a strider. I'm dead already. Just don't know it yet. Well, make no, I do know it. There's one. Got to be damned, got to be damned. I need to get here. Pick up this little bad boy. Toss it. Shoot it. Get inside here. 
Oh god damn, this this resource is regenerate. Wow. Miracle to get us out of this. It is. Like a miraculous respawning resource house. That'll do. What did I miss? I think I missed. Looks like it. Okay, that's the alarm going off again. Come on, get the hunter. Get the hunter. How do I get it with the song ship again? Not like that. Get the bomb. Lost the bomb. Die. Whoops. Okay, re-evaluate the situation. Do I have a bomb? Yes, I have a bomb. Ah, get the hunter. Hunter is caught. Driving is a hassle. And bomb is here. Bomb is there. I missed. This is not ideal. Mister, I had a hidden stash here. And I missed again. I think that calls for a reload. Wait, do I have a bomb? I have a bomb. I need to revalue that every time. This cannot be sure when I save it. Get the bomb. Toss it. Shoot it! Perfect. That leaves us with... We did it! Oh! We held them off! Good work, everyone! Yay! Oh... Attention! Attention! The Striders have been defeated! All personnel return to base immediately! Repeat! All personnel return to base yeah. immediately! Hey! Hey! Martin Freeman! Thank you! Thanks, Freeman! I'm very happy about how things went. I survived, and uh, all the striders died. It only wow, took me like a million tries. You were amazing out there. Thanks for saying that to the wall. Come on. Not to my face, because I rushed away from your face. Because your face is kind of cute and, and terrible and awkward. It's final stage. There we go. But Doctor Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Support equipment powered down. Uh, hold on a moment, Kleiner. Thank ah, you. Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. It would have been better if it hadn't imploded on time. To thank you personally for saving my rocket. You're welcome. Well, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Good. Don't forget the gnome. Wow. For a minute there, I thought you were gonna get a hug. Can I get a hug? Can I? Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? Okay, let's go to the control room. Well, here we are again. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. Ooh, is I've that got so? it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's within tolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back. At last. Ah, good. <laughs> Can I just know? What a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. Should I? You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Space. Space. No one goes to space. No one goes to space. Space is where the gnome will be. Isn't it? The gnome goes to space. The gnome goes to space. 
The space is where the gnome will be. E minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Yes. Six. Yes. Five. Steady. Four. Three. Two. Three. One. Yeah. We did it. Oh, we sure did. I'm just gonna get myself. Yes. Then death. Good. Oh. Yay. Now, now it is still it's too beautiful. early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you gonna see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. Is you the known to space yet? Magnuson. Indeed. Uh, yeah, apparently I had to close the door. Is that okay? What were those steps? We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up oh, a second. Oh, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Come on! Indeed with you. Indeed with you. Gordon! Alex! Dear look God, at the portal! This has to work. We've activated the resonator! This is it! Oh my! Yes. 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 The portal has been neutralized. We did it. Oh, we did it, Gordon. Oh, we sure as hell did. And not a moment too I soon. Knew it would work. I'm a I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I yeah. wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Why did you go away? This is a terrible situation to be in. I know what happens, but I don't want to spoil there anything. There she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember they don't remember the exact the details. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be alright. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Okay, let's go. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Oh, that's the circumstances, man. Dad! Alex! <clears throat> Dad! <clears throat> oh. Get away!
to the late dog. Just save Eli. Would very much have liked Eli to have been saved. Dad! Dad, please! Dad! Oh my god! At least Dog's paranoia saved us, Alex. Episode 2. Well, this ending was a downer. And of course, the long, long wait for the next half life is also quite a downer. So, anyway, I will be playing Jade Empire as my next uh, Monday and Friday series. So if anyone is interested in that, they can watch that. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, I'll thank you for watching and uh, just let the credits roll. I'll see you next time.